Good morning and welcome to Radio Friends. This is Tuesday, November the 18th. It's good to have you with us today. We've got uh, three guests that we're going to talk to. But first of all, let's start with Jennifer Stone. Hi. Good to meet you, Jennifer. Meet you MU Healthcare. And you were the director of a new clinic. Actually, it opened in July. In July. With yep. MU Healthcare. It's a new women's health specialist clinic. That's right? correct. Yep. And you were telling me that this is the only facility in Colombia that can treat certain uh, problems with women. You That's want to explain? Correct. Yeah, so we are the only facility in Colombia that is currently able to care for women who do not need surgery. There's some other places where you can go for surgery, but women who have either pelvic floor problems and pain or women who are pregnant and have pain. So we have one physician who's a women's health specialist who works there with us, and then we've currently got four physical therapists who are trained to treat ladies with this problem. Yeah, so you were director of physical therapy, right? Are, are you director of the entire uh, clinic? I just direct the clinic. The clinic. Mm -hmm. yep. So tell me about the physical therapy part of it. So we provide non-invasive treatment for women who have pain during pregnancy or pelvic floor problems, as I mentioned. So it's a combination of hands-on work to help with muscles or joints that are too tight or not moving correctly, and then some exercises that can be targeted towards strengthening muscles and, and retraining them to work properly together. So this can all be done without invasive surgery? Correct. In, in, in many cases, right? In many cases. There, but there is, there is a... Uh, there are some cases where surgery is necessary. Sure, of course. Percentage-wise, what would you say the percentage would be that physical therapy takes care of the problem? Well, the, the people that I've seen, I would say probably 95%. Now, granted that a lot of women who have needed surgery have perhaps already gone that route. And we'll often see ladies who do need surgery after they've had their surgery because they'll need some help afterwards as well with scar tissue management or retraining those muscles. Mm -hmm. But when you say 95%, that's a pretty high percentage. Yes. I and that really so. is good news, isn't it? It is, yes. Because it's it's better for the, wom for the woman in general mm -hmm. not to have to have surgery. Definitely. The strengthening the muscles that are needed to be strengthened. Correct. How did this, uh, how did this program come about? Well, um, it's something that I actually had some problems with my pelvic, excuse me, with my pelvic floor after I had my first child, and I ended up being someone who did need a surgical repair, and then found out afterwards that there was no one closer than St. Louis that I could go to for rehab afterwards, and I decided, well, that's kind of ridiculous, and so myself and one other therapist who works with me went and got trained, and then shortly thereafter we found the physician who's also a women's health specialist, and we've been working together for a while and it just seemed like it made sense to open a clinic where patients could come and just see all of us in the same place. And, and the University Healthcare was very receptive to doing oh, this. Oh, absolutely, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's, that's nice to know. So somebody listening today, if they feel they need your assistance, what do they do? So they can call our clinic. Our phone number is 573-584-1587. And um, our receptionist can schedule them with the physician or directly with the physical therapist, just depending on what their needs might be. And yeah, and insurance will take care that. of this. Oh, yes. Yeah, we have even Medicaid, Medicare, all of those cover our okay. services. Typically. Okay, or they could go to the MU Healthcare website yes. for more information. Yes, they this. should be able to find well, us. Jennifer, thank you so much for coming sure, by. Thank you for really having us. interesting, and I, I appreciate you sharing that information with thank us. Thank you. Okay, now I turn to. Uh, Two directors who are sitting over <laughs> to my left came all the way from Jeff City for Capital City Players. We have Adam McCall, who is a director, and Sarah Culp, who is the musical director yes. of Company, right, yes. at uh, Capital City Players. You, you're, this is the middle of the production right now. You opened last week. Mm. Yes. How did the opening go? Great. Yeah, we wonderfully. We were prepared, so it's, it's been great. <laughs> great everybody reviews, knew what right. they were doing. Yeah, <laughs> that's good. That's yes. good to know that everybody knew what they were doing. Yeah. It's a really strong cast. It really so is. it's been it's been a pleasure to work with them all the way through it. And by strong, uh, like really um, um, experienced. Yes. And um, they've had a lot of experience. Uh, at Capital City Players, like there is probably half the cast was in uh, uh, Capital City Players did Les Misérables. Uh, yeah. This summer. <laughs> this summer, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, 
That was a fantastic production. It was. It was. I was in it. So you were in it. So so well, everybody, we were. everybody, yeah, we everybody were in, in Capital yeah. City <laughs> Players was in, in that. I don't remember yeah. that. But, you know, <laughs> I've, I've been to many of your productions, and you do a fantastic, all of you do an absolutely fantastic job. Uh-huh. Uh, and then you, you get dinner before the production. Right. Like, if you go on Sunday, you have uh, uh, lunch at 1230. Mm-hmm. If you go during the week, what time is dinner? 630. 630, mm-hmm. and the production's at 7. 30. 30. Yep. 7.30. You can also bring a box of wine. Yes. Oh, okay. I mean, yeah, so, so that the might show's crappy, make the production yeah. look even better. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Tell me about company. Well, uh, it's about a bachelor, a proud bachelor. Um, and he, Are you in it? I am. Are you I'm, the proud bachelor? He is. Uh, I kind of figured that. <laughs> <one>. <laughs> yeah. Well, he uh, is friends with um, a few married couples, and he's also dating a few girls. And... Uh, it's about his relationship with those three girls a little bit and um, how, how he uh, interacts with the married couples. He's kind of on the periphery of them, always watching, always uh, judging. Okay. okay. <laughs> yeah. It's really a commentary on relationships and marriages. And so you, you kind of, because it's his kind of perspective on how, you know, what are the good things about being married? What's, you know, what's the hard things about it? So it's funny and, um, and touching at the same yeah, time. Yeah, there's too. some poignant, poignant mm-hmm. parts of it. What also. about the music? It's fantastic. It's by Stephen Sondheim. So, so it's amazing. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, you know, it's all right. Some of the songs. <laughs> That's a joke. It's some so of the good. songs. Some of the, the. Are we going to recognize them? Yeah. Um, yeah. Well, "Being Alive" is a is a ballad that a lot of people know, and then the company Bobby, 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 Baby is the big opener, and a lot of people know the how's getting married. How's that Mar- go again? <laughs> <laughs> we need I'm about going. fourteen more people. <laughs> right. Here yeah, to do that. Just, yeah. I can join in with you. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. So it's Bobby. Bobby, Bobby, baby. You got it. You're hired. Okay. Yeah. That's the big opening number. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah. All the married couples just kind of calling out to Bobby. and uh-huh. So, yeah, it's fun. And then Getting Married is another one in it oh. um, that, yeah. yeah, that I actually perform. But it's a it's a funny number. Glee did a version of it a couple seasons ago uh-huh. when Emma ran away from her wedding. So it's funny. So as musical director, is this a, a difficult show to do or is it? This is the most difficult show I've ever music directed. Really? Yeah, it's Stephen Sondheim. So it's it, when it's done well, it sounds very, it's easy to listen to, and it sounds, oh, that's not so bad, but the rhythms are very intricate, and the words are intricate, and so it's really interesting, okay. beautiful music. If you want to see it, you've got another chance this weekend, right? Yes. Mm-hmm. Is, is this the last weekend or this one more? This is the last weekend, okay. so you don't want to miss it. All right, the phone number to call? Is well, you know what? You can do five seven three six eight one nine zero one two, or go to capitalcityplayers dot com yes. online. Mm-hmm. Okay, thank you both so much for coming by. Pleasure having you thank here. You. Uh, tomorrow, Turkey Trot and Craft Bazaar, a program directed by Travis McMillan, Reynolds Journalism Institute. Audio is Pat Akers from KBIA. Our floor director is Maya Jackson, uh, Maya Jackson, and our assistant producer and guest coordinator, Uncle James Mouser. Bye bye.